Well, this one is going to be painful. Hello everybody, welcome back to another epic, amazing, awesome source episode of Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z, where I play every single Starting Nation in Victoria 2. <laughs> there was a glitch in the Matrix. Uh, yeah, welcome back to another episode. We are very quickly making our way through the final nations in Hoi 4 A to Z, and finally one day we'll be free. I do have to say though, today's episode might be a little bit painful, but a quick word from today's sponsor. That's right, today's sponsor, Skillshare. Have you ever thought that you want to expand your horizons in terms of intellectual and creative thinking? Well, Skillshare's got you covered with a variety of different classes to help you expand on your skills or maybe get a new one. One of the most frequent questions I get asked as a YouTuber is how exactly I can get started doing YouTube too. And guess what? There's a class for that. So Ellen Moore's class on a YouTube success built an authentic YouTube channel that's worth the follow will take you through all the steps you need to do and will say it a lot better than I can on how exactly you can get started with YouTube. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. It doesn't matter what level you're at, if it's a new skill, something you're actually expertised in, there will be a class for your level. So thank you very much Skillshare for sponsoring the video. If you want to go ahead and support the channel and also get yourself some brand new skills in your life, you can click my link down below in the description to get yourself started on some brand new skills or maybe just go ahead and fine tuning some old skills and the first 1000 my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare to try out so go ahead guys sign up skillshare today you might just learn something new and thank you skillshare for sponsoring the video now once again i'm not playing with any mods the new dlc has um Collapse the mod market. And also, you guys seem to like me doing vanilla for the simple fact, uh, <laughs> I don't know why you enjoy this. Why? Oh man! Like, oh man, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I'm playing oh man in Hearts of my Fuck! As you can tell, oh man sits in a very interesting place in Hoi 4. And has no impact whatsoever. How many of you have realistically played O-Man before, huh? I guarantee half the American viewers don't even know what an O-Man is. Oh, I've said it been to more before. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just get into this. As you can see, O-Man is great. Oh man, we got a whole 1.5k manpower. That's more than I ever thought we'd have. Yeah, realistically, I got no idea what I'm gonna do here. I got no idea. Oh, we've, we've already ran out of places to build stuff, so I, I guess <laughs> we'll build a road. Uh, I guess we could unite Arabia, but that requires everything in the entire Middle East. Uh, player led peace conferences, no epic mod for an overpowered focus tree, no real point of this nation in World War II. I mean, what are we gonna do? Oh, uh, already ran out of those 1.5k guys. Okay. Gonna need a few more. All right, my viewers from Oman. What was cool about Oman? I'm looking at Muscat right here, and apparently it's a mountain. <laughs> can can you guys get internet up there on top of the mountain? Uh, as wonderful and glorious as you do look, I do actually have to slip into communism because manpower. What if I like just become a naval powerhouse? Do you, do you think that's possible? What if I create some something? Just something out of navy. Uh, I'm gonna need a few more states if that's the case, because uh, I don't, I can't fit any dockyards <laughs> in Oman. Uh, you guys got any uh, New Year revolutions? Re oh, I almost said revolutions instead of resolutions there. Okay, that one goes out to any of my uh, Ukrainian followers. You guys got any revolutions coming? <laughs> what, what about my Kazakh viewers? You guys got any revolutions? What's with your resolutions, eh? Uh, mine is to play any other nation than oh man <laughs> uh, also i would like a signed photo of alex the rambler if someone could get that sorted for me tell alex i really want something over my mantelpiece and uh, i can think of nothing beautiful 
than the Hoi 4 save disaster god himself, Mr. Rambler Rooney. If you think that there was a shred of irony in any of that, there's not. I want a signed Alex the Rambler poster. Alright, <laughs> uh, we're kind of getting pretty unlucky with flipping the communist. I wanted to do this a bit earlier, but this is not bad. This is kind of in the middle. Uh, we did get one communist event, so uh, we should be able to flip pretty quickly. And hopefully, we can invade Saudi Arabia. Uh, boom, there we go. And that will do it. Let's go ahead and try to 1% world tension. Is that all I'm worth to the world? Sure, why not? And there's 35 army XP to get ourselves ideological loyalty which has single-handedly carried so many of these games i just remembered oh god damn it. i gotta invent the train and also um the railroad because there ain't one here you know, now that i look at it i don't think this is gonna go too well let's find out i was about to say this is going bad but then they just took those promises from me <laughs> moved their army down there and i've i've just walked around them I guess I'll keep walking around them. No, they just did the exact same thing again. In we go. So stupid. <laughs> Please die. I just gotta capitulate them before they capitulate me. I I'm doing the little meme shroud to get our last defense on our capital, which is all we have to hold. I don't even want this land. I just realized I, I have to garrison it. I don't have the manpower. You're just going to have to get puppeted. I um, I genuinely can't afford the army, so that's going. Yeah, that might explain why I was getting destroyed by Saudi Arabia so much. Um, my 10 whips versus this. And uh, <laughs> now it begins. Uh, I got myself a whopping free dockyards and no steel to produce anything. And I think I'm ready to rule the waves. Is that stupid glitch still working where you can just keep clicking this and get like endless naval production bonuses let's take a look yep yes it is all right things just got interesting i just realized saudi arabia's flag when the communists is just saudi arabia with a hammer and sickle truly ingenious <laughs> uh, i'm not actually gonna use any battleships because uh well you ever heard of this thing called fuel before we don't have any of it uh, but i am interested with this little wee glitch to see how quickly i could get one out all right so with no steel and no chromium i can get it up to like a, a couple years hold on we we could actually get this we could break this so much oh uh, but you may as well just use the console if you're going to no, okay? I'm playing oh man, alright? I'm playing oh man, there's nothing else to do here. Uh, for some reason, if you want to do this glitch, not sure why, maybe it'll come in handy in Iron Man. All you have to do, just keep clicking the naval production like I'm doing, and it, um, it stacks, apparently, for some reason. I don't know why it's not patched. Well, there we go, we're gonna get ourselves a battleship in June. <laughs> All right, we're only gonna build one of these things because it's just, it's such a waste and we cannot have, <laughs> we don't have the fuel to actually keep them running. So uh, yeah, uh, instead we are gonna focus on submarines and we are gonna do a, le a wee little bit of pirating. All right, there it is. <laughs> Considering how quickly we got this thing out, I wouldn't get on this boat. There you go, I guess we'll make it the pride of the fleet and it will just sit here for the rest of the game, you know? Let's, let's just see if we take it out of port, you know, we'll take it on a world tour, maybe? Yeah, I don't have any naval range, so I guess we'll just take it off the coast of Somalia. <laughs> yes, that's right, Great Britain! Oh man rules the waves! Oh, World War II's kicking off, but uh, I don't know why that's any bother of ours. We're busy down here in Oh Man having fun! Oh man, I'm having so much fun, you could say! Ain't that beautiful? Look at that, hit, hit max PP stored up. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Alright, we're almost done making our amazing, awesome source epic Windsor submarines, though. Just uh, 78 days so we get sub fours and got the snorkels for them, and we should be good to go. Then I've just got to pick someone to torment. And also, now that I got some manpower stocked up, uh, we will be annexing the Saudi Arabians. Now that I can garrison their land, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna use their land for more naval bases and sub spam. That's all I could do. I just realized, even though I'm not doing naval production anymore, the um, the bonuses are still there. <laughs> I just realized as well, I should have been naval training this entire time so we can get my doctrine going. And look at that. We're getting a ton from naval exercises. <laughs> Pride of the fleet out there. <laughs> just, it's gonna sink. It's got so many holes in it, I imagine. In fact, let's go ahead and rename it to the SNV... 
duct tape as that's what it's held together with. I'm going to be very interested to see just how quickly we can spam these things out. Oh, there you go. We can pop one of these bad boys out every 17 days. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to get on a submarine that was made in 17 days, dear viewer? Right. I'm here to help, Stalin. I think what we're going to do is just start raiding around here first and uh, see what these things can do. And uh, I guess I should also join the war, eh? There you go. The submarines are now wreaking havoc around Italy. Uh, we're getting quite a few convoys. Not that I think it really matters, but uh, we do need to start working on the Germans, I think. I mean, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, of course it matters. We are a vital part of the war effort down here in the People's Republic of Oman. I know I do what our effect on the war effort might be but we are indeed sinking many many convoys at the moment um hopefully that's doing something all right the fuel situation's not looking too good so what i'm gonna do is move away from using new submarines instead get a whole bunch of convoys so we can quickly annex saudi arabia i want to say i'm taking uh, at least 42 percent of the credit for this naval invasion as the grand omani submarine fleet wreaks havoc outside of rome I Actually, that had nothing to do with us. Uh, you can have all credit yourself, Mr. Great Britain. All right, uh, D-Day looking pretty poggers, as one might say. Uh, hopefully, these guys can keep pushing. I'm keeping the uh, the seas clear of any supplies coming for the Germans, though, which is good. Um, I'll, I'll keep blowing them up. You, you guys keep pushing, because... Um Soviets ain't looking too fresh. Oh my god. I just sunk an actual battleship with the SNV Submarine 20. Well done. That's, uh, that's not looking too good, is it? That's oh, right. I only lost a single submarine in all of that. Uh, Rack, join the Axis. Uh, if I had any form of an army, I'd go in there. But uh, I, I don't. I <laughs> turned all my people into submarines. Oh my lord. Thank you. There we go. Finally done. It's a bit weird. Didn't you just, uh... Didn't you just come back? Oh, uh, yeah. They're, uh... They're pretty angry. Yeah, I definitely missed something there, because I just realized that the state of Japan is helping out, which means... <laughs> Which means they, they, yep, they beat up Japan. I'm pretty sure this front line hasn't moved in about two years now. It is, uh, not looking pretty. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely cursed, but I guess so is Oman and the great submarine fleet. <laughs> oh, this means I can come over here now, though. Thank you, Japan. Oh, yeah, there you go. There she blows. I think we are doing quite a bit of damage now. Uh, quite the coalition there. You got the Netherlands. Uh, the Japanese are in there, too. And uh, the Canadians are trying to beat up the Italians. One thing I never really see much with No Step Back anymore is the Soviets actually making a pushback. It just always seems to get to a stalemate like this, and then the Allies kill them off. Uh, it would be a lot better to see the uh, the Soviets Soviet comeback, but uh, I will just be happy for this to be done and dusted with at this point. Man, people always talk about being the best to hoi for. Who cares about being the best when you revolutionize the meta with naval Oman? I mean, look at that. <laughs> Japan's about to storm Berlin, and the Soviets are uh, still eating rocks. <laughs> well, it is good to see that uh, I have really participated well to, to this war, but hey, two enemy ships sunk. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I won't lie. We are running out of things to blow up in the sea as all the axes lose their damn coastline. Come on, Russia. Like, the <laughs> come on, really? The UK is making more gains here than you are. You, you ain't gonna have much of an iron curtain over Europe if you um don't pull your finger out. Well, actually, you have 45% of the war participation because you've lost 10 million men. Okay, never mind. Oh, is that it? I didn't even, I didn't even get anything, guys. You know, <laughs> you're not gonna give little old man something. No. All right. Well, there, there we go. That's what we all settled on in fixing Europe after the Great War. This, this. Hey, uh, well, yeah. There you go. The Soviets did get their Iron Curtain. It's just got a bit of a hole <laughs> in it. Oh, I have no idea why anyone would ever want to willingly play like this, but uh, if you want to try out Oh Man, guys, cool little naval strat for you. <laughs> Yeah, we're done here. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below. But uh, until next time, no more Oh Man!